Well, guys, Trump has experienced yet another legal victory. Judge Aileen Cannon, the judge in the federal classified documents case, has dismissed the case, y'all. She threw it out. Judge Cannon dismissed the federal classified documents case against Donald J. Trump. Now, let's remember, Judge Cannon was appointed by Donald J. Trump. Isn't that a conflict of interest? Guys, isn't that a, like, how is that not a conflict? How? <laughs> Same thing like with the Supreme Court. Two, three out of the, the Supreme Court justices were were appointed by Donald Trump. Why did she dismiss the case? According to her, she ruled that special counsel Jack Smith was improperly appointed. That is what she ruled. She ruled that he should not have been appointed to try this case. The attorney general's office with Merrick Garland, they appointed Jack Smith as a special uh, as a special um, counsel in order to basically avoid any um, perception of of impropriety, not impropriety, but but a conflict of interest. Right. So which is ironic. Right. On the one end, Republicans are like, fuck a conflict of interest. We don't care. And on the other end, Democrats are like, mm, we don't want to appear like we're having a conflict of interest. Let's bring somebody new in to try this case. OK, so he did that. Merrick Garland appointed him. And listen, we've We've heard this a million times before in 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 uh, big cases, right? We've heard this a million. We've heard of special counsels. This is not a new thing. This is a regular, regular thing, okay? But the gag here is that Eileen Cannon made this ruling after she was essentially alley ooped by Justice Clarence Thomas. So when Clarence Thomas made his, uh, you know, wrote his his opinion in the immunity case, he also added a little sidebar, a quick little sidebar where he was like, oh, also, by the way, like, is is Jack uh, Smith even like supposed to even be the counsel? Like, is he even like qualified? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Moving on. Very much an aside. None of the other judges co-signed it. He's the only one who who made that statement. But he basically outlined an argument that Eileen Cannon was able to use in order to dismiss the case. And that was... You know, I'm not going to say that was a plan all along, but it seems like that was the plan all along. It feels like it was an orchestrated event, y'all. These judges, these conservative judges are working with each other, helping each other, giving each other ideas on how they can screw the system and help Trump. And remember, Eileen Cannon had literally spent the whole time in this case delaying the case, delaying the case, delaying the case. Listening to all of these trivial motions to dismiss, motions to get rid of this, that all were denied. Not all, but most. And now she finally did it. You know, I'm just trying to understand how we have these corrupt ass judges making these decisions. I'm just trying to understand. Shout out to AOC. AOC uh, filed... Um, articles of impeachment against Clarence Thomas. Good for her. I give her 100. Now, listen, are the articles of impeachment going to go anywhere? Of course not. Of course not. Because Democrats are not going to do anything. They're, you know, this is another thing that really bothers me about the uh, Democrats and just 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 politics in general this idea of like traditionalism you know like oh we don't want to stir the pot well we don't have a precedence of that we've never we've never uh, impeached a supreme court justice we don't we don't want to go there let's not even go there that's how we ended up in the situation with donald trump we told y'all to impeach him and y'all waited until it was too late and then you tried to impeach him and you couldn't do shit now at that point you impeached him twice when it was pointless you know, I'm so tired of, you know, they always default to this like, oh, well, we don't, well, we never did that before and we don't want to set that precedence up. Get rid of him. Stand on something, Democrats. 
Y'all are so sucked into this traditionalism. You know, y'all are still asking in 2024, what would the founding fathers do? What would the founding fathers do? I'm sorry. Why are we concerned about what a bunch of psychopathic human and sex traffickers would do? Help me understand why I give a damn what the hell a bunch of weirdo ass people who human trafficked people across the globe, sexually trafficked people all over this country, why I would give a damn what the fuck they think while simultaneously talking about freedom for all. <laughs> We, I, I, it's crazy to me to think that in 2024, we are asking what these people who would literally pass out if they saw the world that we live in today. Barack Obama's president, they would have lost their shit, their wigs, their literal wigs. You mean to tell me I'm supposed to care about what a man who freaking locked his, his wife's little sister in a goddamn closet next door to his bedroom so he could rape her when she was a fucking child? You think I give a fuck about what that guy thinks? And I'm and for those who don't know, I'm talking about Thomas Jefferson. Look up Sally Hemings, the freaking quote unquote love story that they tried to to promote the propaganda. Sally Hemings was a little girl when when Thomas Jefferson raped her. Sally Hemings was Thomas Jefferson's wife's little sister. <laughs> she was enslaved. She couldn't say no. And he put this girl, he locked her in a goddamn room next to hers so he could have access to her. And you think I care what that man thinks?